Hello friends, this video on probability part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have to perform an activity, we will take any coin and we will toss it 10 times and we will load down the number of head and tail. So for example, if you have to toss the coin 10 times and then you may get 4 head and 6 tail. So this data may vary, you can actually do it, take a coin and toss it uh, 10 times. So what you can say is this is head and this is tail. So head, has, head is the one which has the main figure, the figure of the government of the country and the tail is one which has the data or which has the actual uh, currency value. It's one dollar, one rupee, two dollar, two rupee, but it's tail and head. Then in this case, if you see, if you take this event, then the probability of head is what? Number of times head came, that is four by total number of head that is that is point four. Similarly, probability of tail is what number of time tail gains by total number of when that is point six. Right? This is for this case. But if you see the data is not correct because we know that the probability of head and tail is each 0.5. So what to do? And as I told that since it is an experimental approach to probability, it is always good to have more data. So let's perform the same activity 50 times. So if you perform the activity 50 times, it may happen that 24 times you get head and 26 times you get tail. So in this case, the probability of head comes out to be what? 24 by 50, that's 0.48 and probability of tail comes out to be 26 by 50, that is 0 0.52. You see, now the number is nearing 0.5. So let's take 100. Let's do the experiment 100 times. So if we do the experiment 100 times, you may get 49 times head and 51 times tail. So if you now find the probability, what you get is probability of head is number of times you got head is 49 by total number of trials that is 100, that is 0.49. And probability of tail is what? The number of times you got tail that is 51 by total number of times you have performed the experiment that is 100, that is 0.51. So you see, the number is nearing approaching 0.5 here, this number is also approaching 0 0.5, so 0 0.6 to 0 0.52, then 0 0.51, then 0 0.5. So if you take more data, for example, if you perform the experiment 1000 times, 10,000 times, then you will see that the, the number, as the number of tasks increases, the value of these fractions is nearing 0 0.5. And thus, I can say that the probability of getting a head is 0.5 and the probability of getting a tail is 0.5 if you toss one coin, correct? So this data actually we have got by thousands of experiments. If you do thousands of experiments, you record all the data, then you come up with the conclusion that probability of a head and the probability of tail in both cases 0.5. And please note that these values are between 0 and 1, correct? As they told the probability value is always between 0 and 1. It is 0, that means it will not happen. 1, that means it is for sure short. It is 0.5. And 0.5 is nothing but 50%. I mean, that's how we say point, If it is 0.5, it's always 50%. 50% is nothing but 50 by 100. And that is also nothing but 0.5. Okay. So let's take a few more activity. Let's take an activity to throw a die. And die is nothing but a, a cubical figure which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the 6. Sides. So we have to find uh, the probability of getting 1, probability of getting 2, probability of getting 3, 4, 5, and 6, and so on. So let's do an experiment. Let's draw this, throw this die at 20 times and let's record the number of 1s we get, the number of 2, number of 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's say that I have done an experiment and I have thrown this die 20 times and I got uh, 3 1s, 4, 3, 4, of 3, and this is the data which I got. You can also perform this experiment in your home. Just pause this video and get a die and perform this experiment. You will see that you will also get similar data here and there. So in this case, the probability of getting 1 is what? To number of times 1 came, 3 by total number of observations, 20. Similarly, probability of getting 2 is what? Number of times 4 came, 2 came by total number of observations. Probability of getting 3 is what? 
number of times 3 came by total number of uh, observation number of probability of 4 is what number of time 4 came by total number of observation similarly probability of 5 is what number of time 5 came that is 3 by total number of observation and probability of 6 is similarly 3 by 20. But if you see these values are not even same, right? they are different. Let us perform the same experiment 60 times. So you perform the experiment 60 times, you may get something like this. I am just putting some numbers. Uh, this is what I got when I did the experiment. Uh, you can also do the same experiment. So in this case, this is was for this case. I am doing this for this 60 case, then probability of getting 1 is what? Number of times I got 1 that is 9 by total number of experiment is observation is 60. Similarly, probability of getting 2 was number of times I got uh, 2 that is 10 by total number of experiment 60. Then probability of 3 is what number of times I got 3 by total number of experiment is 60. Similarly, probability of 4 is what number of times I got 6, uh, 4 by total number of experiments probability of 5 is what number of times I got uh, 6, uh, 5 by total number of experiments and the probability of 6 is what number of times I got 6 by total number of experiments. So you will see the number is reaching 1 by 6. You see this is what this is 1 by 5 actually. It is reaching 1 by 6. These all values are nearing 1 by 6. So if you again repeat the same experiment for 120, 120 times and then let us see what I get. So if I repeat the experiment with 120 times, I did it, I got this as 19 times. I, this is 20, this is 21, this again is 19, this is 21 and this is 21. This is what I got. So number of 1s I got 19 times, number of 2 20 times, number of 3 21 times. This is what I got. So you can also do you know, the same experiment in your home. Provided the dice is not biased, it has to be unbiased dice. So let us take variety of 1 is what? 19 by 120. Similarly, probability of getting 2 is what? 20 by 120. Probability of getting 3 is what? 21 by 120. Probability of 4 is what? 19 by 120. Probability of 5 is what? 21 by 120. And probability of getting 6 is what? 20 by 120. So if you see these values, you see these values as you go down, it means you are increasing the number of experiments, the values are nearing 1 by 6. The values are nearing 1 by 6. All these values are nearing 1 by 6. Right? See 20 by 120 is 1 by 6. 19 by 120 is also one nearing 1 by 6. 21 by 120 is also nearing 1 by 6. All these values will be nearing 1 by 6. That means I can say that when I throw a die, probability of getting each of these numbers is 1 by 6. Note that these values are between 0 and 1. 1 by 6 is between 0 and 1. Correct. So let us talk about some terms in probability. So probability we have will discuss about three terms here. Trial. Event. I told you that we will discuss about event. And the sample space. See, trial is nothing but an action that results in several outcomes. So, in the case of toss of the coin, each toss of the coin is a trial. Each throw of a die is a trial. Right? When you toss a coin, throw a die, each of these is a trial. So, trial, you want to define is nothing but, it is action that results in one or several outcomes. So when I throw a die, I get outcome as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When I throw a coin, I get outcome as head or tail. Correct? So I have various outcomes. Action is nothing but, I mean trial is nothing but action that results in one or several outcome. Correct? That is trial. Okay? And these are outcomes. 
So trial is one term, outcome is also one term. You can say. The next term is event. So event, for ex event is uh, nothing but the collection of outcome. or an experiment. For example, getting a head is an event, getting a tail is an event, getting a one is an event, getting a two is an event in the throw of a die. For example, if we are throwing a die and with the hope of collecting only odd number, then getting one is an event, getting three is an event, getting five is an event. Right? So, getting 1, 3 and 5 is the event for this outcome, odd number. So, event for an experiment is nothing but the collection, the collection of outcome for an experiment. So, I am repeating the same formula once again. So, let's suppose if n is the total number of trial, if n is total number of trial. For example, if I am uh, tossing the coin 1000 times, then this is n is 1000. Then the probability of E event, event can be uh, getting head or tail, is nothing but the number of trials when event happened by total number of For example, as I told, if you toss the coin thousand times, and thousand times you got let's say five hundred one head and four ninety nine tell, then the probability of event head is nothing but five hundred one times you got head five zero one by total number of prior that is similarly probability of event tell tail is nothing but four ninety nine times tail by total number of prior that is possible. Similarly, we have third term called sample space. Sample space is something but it is the set of all possible outcome for a given experiment. So, let me spend some time here to tell you what is the sample space. And it is not that if you are throwing a coin, you would always get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the outcome. Or if you are throwing a, uh, like if you throwing a coin, you will always get head in the outcome. For example, if you throw One coin. What is the possible outcome? Head and so if you throw two coins, what is the possible outcome? Head tail, tail head, head head, tail head. Right? These are four possible outcomes. So similarly, if you throw three coins, you may get head head tail, head tail tail, tail tail tail, head head head. Right? So you can we'll have eight outcomes. So Outcome is nothing but it is a collection of all the sample space is nothing but collection of all the possible outcome for a given experiment. If you throw one coin, you get two outcome. Either head or tail. If you throw, throw two coins, you get four outcomes: either head tail, tail head, head head, or tail head. So if you uh, throw a dice, the possible outcome is uh, typically one, two, three, four, five. If you throw, throw two dice, then you have actually 36 outcomes. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Similarly, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Similarly, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. And it will continue, it will have 36 outcomes if you do throw two dice. This is for one dice. So, hope you understand what is sample space. Sample space is nothing but all the collection outcome. Okay, this is a set of all the possible uh, outcomes, and the event is one, the one which we are looking for. Example, if we are looking for the event of a head, so we are looking for uh, this event. We are looking for tail event. We are looking for this event. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also 
get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.